It's playful. Students love learning by playing, offers valuable life skills. Students like learning with VR technology. They learn faster and they retain information better. It was really one of these technologies that got me as a teacher excited. It really is a huge benefit for me to be able to use it in my classes. I hope virtual space is part of the future of education. I think giving students the confidence at an early age opens up a world of opportunities to them. I'm Sophie Thompson, I'm co-founder and CEO of Virtual Speech and we provide a platform to help students improve their competence and their confidence with communication skills like public speaking, leadership, job interviews, active listening, those kinds of topics. We started Virtual Speech when I was a student and I had severe social anxiety. My business partner Dom was working with virtual reality already and we realised that VR provided a psychologically safe place to practise a skill like public speaking so that they could build up not just their skills but their confidence to use those skills. I am Louise Papa. I am XR coordinator for RTC Antwerp. With the XR Action Plan, the Flemish government uh, invested in a big initiative to introduce XR technology in the Flemish schools. We are reaching about 700 schools, about 150,000 students. With extended reality, you have an opportunity to learn in a safe way, something that you're not able to teach in, in real life. Virtual speech is one of the apps that we are using to help students train soft skills, but also languages. It was one of the first apps that really convinced me of the benefits of XR because it um, also has a great integration with AI. And that was something that we hadn't seen with the other software that we were using at the time. I'm Lynn, and I'm here to chat. What would you like to talk about today? I think in a world where AI is becoming increasingly popular, it's those skills that make us uniquely human that are going to become more and more important in the workplace. So equipping students with those workplace skills while they're still young will set them up for success. The distance fades as laughter vibes are tears. Thank you so much for listening to my only version of a Shakespearean sonnet. That was incredible. My name is Hanna Terweedewe. I'm an English teacher. I have been a teacher here for about, I'd say, 13 years, if I'm not mistaken. I've always been a fan of new things and new developments. When it comes to VR, I was drawn to it immediately, and I thought, hey, this is something I could definitely use in my classes. I have them practicing their own Shakespearean sonnet in front of an audience in the virtual rooms. They, of course, can do the conversations in the cafe. And now there's a format in which you can do a pitch, like in Shark Tank. So next year, I'm going to have them deliver a pitch in front of the sharks. You get immediate feedback, which I think is so valuable. They can learn from it, do it again, and then adjust whatever they need to adjust. So that's perfect, I think. I'm very timid, so it's helped me a lot to overcome it and to get more confidence to speak in a large crowd. It gives you real life feedback and you can start all over again. You're more motivated to learn, so it really helps a lot. I'm uh, Thomas. I'm a teacher here at Campus Sport. I teach both Dutch and English classes, mainly at pupils of 15 up to 18 years old. Virtual speech was really one of these technologies that got me as a teacher excited. The possibilities for your students is just so big that it really is a huge benefit for me to be able to use it in my, in my classes. Until now, they've tried the job interviews because that's also one of my curriculum goals. And next term, we'll be using the debates with the fifth graders. I always pair them up. So one is in the VR world, the other one can uh, follow on a screen. If I would put two students uh, together to practice, they would both actually having zero to very few experience with job interviews. But now they really get to experience it with as a partner, an AI avatar with an expert level. Can you tell me about a specific project where you faced a significant challenge? Most of our communication isn't actually what we say, it's in the other things as well. Your body language, your eye contact. So the system will give you feedback on your pace, volume, tone, eye contact, body language, how many ums and ahs you've said. And then it will also give you feedback on the content. My eye contact was really good. The body language was a tiny bit less. I really could see what I could improve for my next job interview. 
you are in the moment, you really are talking to an AI person. So I think this is much more effective than just reading. Learning with virtual speech is a much more engaging way to learn and students tend to be much more focused in the classroom as well because they've got the headset on, they're fully immersed in their learning and not distracted by things going on elsewhere. Extended reality is the future of learning, so it's great for students and teachers to, to get on board of the train now. One of my students, that he said, hey, you can get a score here, you can level up. They're not even realizing how much they're learning. One of uh, the, the students actually told me I'm taking things more seriously because otherwise it indeed is just a game. Everyone is watching me. I try to be the, the funny guy in class, but now it's him and the avatar and he needs to get that passing grade. So he actually takes the learning into his own hands. That's exactly where I want him to be.